Welcome back to Kind of Funny's Fast and Furious in Review. That's right. Every single movie in the Fast and Furious cinematic universe reviewed and ranked by us. Kind of Funny. I'm Tim Geddes. This is Andy Cortez. That, Kevin Coelho over there. We got Greg Miller running at the table. The beautiful Nick Scarpino. Getchy. Getchy? <laughs> That's what you got this week? Yeah. yeah. What did you do last week? You were like, Hong Kong. You were like, <laughs> Hong Kong, there's traffic. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, we're, here. we're here, ladies we and gentlemen. We made it. It's been we a long to... day. Thank you. Thank you. The final you. Fast and Furious movie thus far. The franchise will continue. Yeah. But today we are talking about Fate and the Furious. Before I let you know about all that, though, I want to give a shout out to Patreon producer David Mintel. Thank you very much for helping make all of these shows happen. He is a Patreon producer of all of our morning shows uh, on the, the kind of funny side of things. So thank you for that. Uh, you can get this show twitch.tv slash kind of funny games every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Or you can watch it later on YouTube.com slash kind of funny or on Rooster Teeth or listen to the podcast version on your favorite podcast service of choice. Um, you can be a part of the show by being a bronze member on patreon.com slash kind of funny as well. And the silver membership gets you this show. What, Greg? Ad free. That's right. Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> it's such <laughs> they do it, isn't it? It sucks that you scream at you, isn't it? That was quite Sorry, cool. I was miles away. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say we just informed you, like, you just lost your job. <laughs> <laughs> You're no longer an American citizen. Yeah. Oh, huh? Harsh. Today we're talking about the fate of the furious. Released on April 4th, 2017. It's been a long time, guys. Can you believe it's been that long since we've gotten a new Fast and Furious movie? Yeah. <laughs> like, I this do. is one of the longest droughts we've ever had. Too long. Too long. Way too long. Uh, directed by F. Gary Gray, his mm. first appearance in uh, the Fast and Furious franchise. You might know him as the director of Friday and Straight Out of Compton and the upcoming Men in Black International. Hey! Oh. He also did oh. The Italian Job. I, okay, I did not that. know that, and it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, a uh, budget of two hundred and fifty million dollars, a box office Jason's of one point two three nine billion dollars. Yeah, so not quite the the one point five one six billion uh, that Seven made, but still, we're in the we're in the Billy Club now yeah. with wow. this franchise. They proved they could do it again. You know, because I feel like that's the most important thing Eight had to do is prove the franchise wasn't dead. You know, yeah, and I think you get that obviously with like this is the standout thing for me in this movie is the Rock and Statham, right? And I think the the fact that those two are now carrying the franchise forward is is huge. Do At least we carrying it in a different direction? Do we know was this the plan already? Because I mean, the movie is stolen by Hobbs and Shaw here. Were they? Was this already the idea? I have to set them up and then eject them out. I have to yeah. imagine that the second they got on screen together, some producer at Universal was like, "Hey, idea! What if we just had these two dudes who are really fun, have great chemistry, and are great action stars in their own right together in their own separate movie, and that's just going to be this other?" From franchise. my understanding, it was The Rock. You, it make, I mean, it makes it was sense. Like, hey, I want to take this more on our, my production side of things because of the beef with Vin Diesel. Splitting everything. Right, because they don't like each other way. that much, right? And then yeah. also, like, Tyrese is like Vin Diesel also. Yeah. No, really no Tyrese, got, he, Tyrese got mad at Rock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. Tyrese got mad at yeah. When yeah. I was searching for photos to use for the bottom TV, there was a shot of Tyrese, The Rock, and Vin Diesel, and it is the most forced smiling I've ever seen in my life, where they do not want to be next man. to each other. They're just like, like, it was like, not even like... One of these crazy production photos that you could tell, like somebody was just on set. They just kind of like did one of these things, and they did not look very enthused. The thing is, like, I I wonder if this ultimately hurts the Fast and Furious core franchise because Statham's character in this is so. It's like you can tell they're just pushing him over into the hey, this guy's a super good guy. Statham character. became fucking Thor in Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, here, where suddenly he's just like silly and That's goofy. A yeah. Very <clears throat> astute observation. My Thank friend. you, Tim. Thank you. And, it, and it's, it's it, like uh, not that Statham was the end all be all of bad guys. I can't remember where he ranks on the bang, Ragu Bagu ranking. Mostly because we'll I'm not part of the club. We'll get there. So well, you're, the, you're one of our biggest. Bad. You're one of our biggest fans. I'm though. just right there. You know, you know what I mean? mean? You're, like, you're you our one's need, Patreon like, supporter. If Kevin can't make it. Let me get yeah, it. You tune in every it. week, dude. Let me get it on you this. You tune in every week. Um, but no, but the, but the one thing this movie did get me uh, hyped for is Hobson Shaw. Yeah. Like I, you, they're, they're, you forget how fucking mm -hmm. fun it is to watch these two guys. And man, we'll get to it in the plot. But did that prison break sequence? Really everything that happens in the prison. Also, did so they steal cool. that set from Deadpool too? I don't understand. It, yeah, that it looks was, a lot that like it. Very similar. Like is it. that just prisons? It's just. I, don't know. I guess it's just super max. Yeah, 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 just hot. No, yeah, where you I put like super that, villains and mutants. Yeah. The yeah, I, yeah, I feel like it had a lot of levels. Yeah, shit was dope as yeah, fuck. That I, for I appreciate this movie, and, mm -hmm. and Andy, you're the one that made me realize like how to put it into words. But it was, it's the anime factor. Mm -hmm. 
Want to explain that? Yeah, yeah that mean? like this is the most anime the series has been where. You know, Vin Diesel is in his vehicle that's like 40,000 horsepower or whatever, and all the other cars are trying to stop him. Oh, and it's sure. just like over 9,000. It, it's, it's totally like that situation where all these powers, and you can imagine like Majin Buu in the center, like fighting, and like everybody has their blasts on him, and it's like, you know, <laughs> easily. <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine Majin no, Buu there. But then guy he's comes over and he forms. says, now you're not remembering <laughs> that Majin <laughs> Buu's power level. <laughs> It is, it is exactly yeah, it like is. that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 and you see that everywhere, right? You see that even in the choreography for the fight sequences, they took it up a notch in this. Mm-hmm. Like this, I don't know who did the stunt choreography in this, but they par excellence. It was fantastic, mm-hmm. fucking great, man. super fun, super creative. Like I, I mentioned, like the fight scene in the, in the jail. I'm like, I kind of want to rewind this and watch it again. Yeah. Jason Statham, you forget how fucking good he is at like parkour shit, dude. You're like, that's oh, the thing. I forgot it's, you're Jason actually like Statham a martial artist. Up against the rock, like it. When you see them next to each other, you're just like. How are we supposed to believe that yeah. you're equals? Like, I don't fucking believe it. But then they start talking to each other, and you're like, okay, I can kind of see it. And then you see them in action, you're like, fuck, I totally buy it. Yeah, I, I totally buy it. Fucking yeah, buy I buy it. it. One's one's nimble and 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 like, uh, you know, like more martial arts, and the other one's just a tank. The, the, yeah, in the so prison fun. when he like to get out, kind of he like runs, jumps on the fence, and kind and of like twirls like, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's fucking tough. Hell, it's tough. It's tough. Like, like one's a tank and one's a warrior with at least like plus twenty agility. Exactly. Because, yeah. Come on. You can do it, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, if you were to roll a twenty sided die, <laughs> if I was in Lord of the Rings, I would be an elf. <laughs> they, can float, they, can, they can float on snow. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, um, it was so cool to see uh, like the characters fight because I feel like they did such a good job defining everyone as having their own style of both fighting and moving around. When they're breaking out, we see like them both like jump down from one of the top layers to one of the lower layers and they do it very differently where Statham does the dope ass slide and the rock just runs into the fence runs into a fence <laughs> <laughs> and it's just it's so cool that they like I feel like really nailed the vibe and also Dom has his like undestructible fucking crazy armor and like yeah, yeah. God, it's it's fucking it's it's ridiculous yeah. because though, like th- this is the this is the big problem. This is what I'm talking about here, right? Is every time Statham and the Rock are on screen, I'm like more of this, and then we get to Dom, and I'm like Ugh, his child. A-. I'm like, all right, you no, like that's the, that's not you actually like the zombie cars. I'm just talking straight up Vin zombie Diesel cool. in this. I'm like, oh, yeah. he's just not. They try to make him the end all be all badass. And I'm like, we just saw the Rock fucking push. Like, there's that scene where the guys, like, three guys are at him, and then it just cuts, and they just explode backward as the rock, like, runs yeah. out. I'm like, there's nothing more compelling than that. You're never yeah. going to be that, Vin. I, I thought they did a Hang good job Spurs, with, with Vin, though, of, like, making it. Because, again, it goes into the full anime thing of the betrayal and what's going on, and it's so absurd. Toretto's gone rogue. I feel like this is the first time, and I feel like every time so we watch nice. one of these movies, I end up saying, like, oh, this is the first time this is a Fast and Furious movie. Oh, this is the first time that they're big set piece, whatever. To me, this is the first time where they're like, we are so fully aware that this is ridiculous that now it's no longer just the car set pieces that are ridiculous. It's no longer just the fight scenes that are ridiculous. The characters themselves, the dialogue between them, and like what we're supposed to believe is happening in this world is fucking unbelievable. It's absurd. Yeah. And they're just like, we're going for it. And it's anime as fuck, and I damn love it. This one, more than any of the other movies, references lines from mm-hmm. every other movie. Yeah. Where it's but like you know directly- what's, what's hilarious in this is they didn't even try with the bad guy plot. They're just like, she's going to steal this, to steal this, to steal this. Why? Hold him accountable? That's she your big wants plan? to own the she world. Wants she, wants she wants to, to own the world. She was going to do it in some so city and generic. be like, hey. And like, shout out to Charlize Theron, who just, the, you could just tell us like, paycheck, I'm paycheck, here. paycheck, paycheck. I'm here. And what did they just, did someone watch That's Gone in 60 man. Seconds? And when it's like, I really like Angelina Jolie's hair in that, let's give it to Charlize Theron. I, I have a question. Is it, is, is it a wig? I don't know. Wigging out with Scarpino. What an interesting <laughs> Interesting decision to give her dreadlocks in this, and I can't, I don't know that I can get behind it. Truth be told, I don't think it was a wig, but I do think it was hair extensions, like really bad hair extensions. There's one shot of her from like earlier where she has her real haircut, where it's like super she short. She's great. She looks fantastic. Yeah. To which I would think, hey, why don't we just, just go with that. keep that because that looks great, as opposed to this weird Rastafarian she's blonde wig that you got with on. The yeah. Rastafarian wig on. I mean, it's Charlize Theron, so yeah. she could fucking be be in a paper bag. And she'd be amazing, but she's a great actor, and she actually does a pretty decent job in this role. Maybe they, give her absolute, they don't give her anything to do. Every one of her lines is the her big her big you shit. You know what she does at the end for the climax? Out. It's very quiet lines. You know what she does at the, at the end of the climax? She's she at a computer. Jumps, she jumps out. 
She, oh, it's, com- it's nothing more exciting than hacker versus hacker. Oh, I don't know. I got you. Now you're starting to piss me off. Now, that's oh, anime shit right and there. And then Statham dude. comes in and she's <laughs> like, oh, I'm just going to jump out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Anyway, but yeah, shout out to Charlize Theron. She's the, actually probably the most frame. expensive antagonist they've ever had in any of these series. But see, I also love that, again, going back to the anime, it's just like, hey, remember the bad guy from the seventh movie and the sixth movie? Actually, she was behind all of it. It's and like, the fourth movie. It's like, oh, yeah, technically. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, she yeah. corrupted like, oh, shit, shot. dude. She God. was like, yeah, she corrupted uh, Luke Evans's character. Like, he was a dope, he was okay, but just, you know, they just he was impulsive, and she yeah. corrupted him. Like, no, I don't think so, guys. I enjoyed this movie a lot more than I expected to, and... I never hated it. It was just always to me like in the the bottom tier of the good ones. And I still feel like that's where I would put it. But I definitely put it in the good ones. It's not one of the like, eh, they missed the mark. I think that they totally hit the mark. With well, it. I think, just I, the mark's a different thing than it used to be. Yeah, I mean, we're in that we're in that Evolved. era of Fast and Furious where absurdity is the brand now. Yeah. And, they, and this movie is, they know what it is. They know that they're like, let's just get through the plot as fast as possible so we get to the point where we tether eight cars to another car that's got 8,000 horsepower, whatever the fuck it was. And we, you know, it's all that just, scene was so let's cool. get... Let's get through the plot as fast as possible to get to the next action set mm-hmm. piece. And the action set pieces are ridiculous and fun and over the top. And like the zombie car shit is just so it's fun. It's, it's silly. so fun. It's almost there are moments in this that I was almost bored where I'm like, oh, I don't really fucking care what's happening here. And then we get to a cool set piece. And I'm like, all right, there's a fucking they're getting chased by a submarine. Great. 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 <laughs> yeah, this is my first time watching this one. Oh, that's right. 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 Yeah. Oh. So I feel like I'm where you guys were. I, I don't put it towards the good ones. Like, this is definitely in middle of the road. Like, all right, whatever. Yeah. But again, this is we've talked about this show a million times, right? Like the action just isn't what I care about. And so like, mm-hmm. we saw action. So it's whatever. Yeah. Hobbs yeah. and Charcoal. <laughs> I mean, I, they did make a, a, a concerted effort to infuse some heart into this with him and the kid. Um, and I was like, okay, there's, we're seeing Vin Diesel shed a tear, actually shed a tear, actually shed a tear. Um, I don't, I still would love at one point if they would just let his character have some level of, uh, arc in this because he doesn't really ever change. He is just constant as the Northern lights and that is totally fine. Uh, but I think everyone else in this movie is so much fun to watch that you just Mm. like, whatever, it's fine. And the scene at the end where I... (laughs) I mean, really, everything with Statham is fucking gold. If they could just do a supercut where it's just Statham and The Rock mm-hmm. and make that in a movie called Hobbs and Shaw, I would totally watch that. Yeah. I want to be clear, I will never forgive Jason Statham um, or his character for I want to be clear, he's 100% forgiven. Do you no, understand? You. Do you understand <laughs> that he was, he was put into a bad situation He in very much like The Rock was? You know what I mean? Yeah. But so here's the thing, is I, I will never forgive they him. They fucked with his family. But no, not this even that. I remember, he was a good damn guy. best job at being like, why would Vin betray the team? What's going on here? And they were like, it's for family yeah. and like why did Jason Statham do it all it's for, for family. family it's like I'm not okay with you killing Han specifically really hammered that point home but yeah, it, yeah but, it, <laughs> but, it, but it might I, but I mean you to guys be know fair, what you're doing here it's a mirror Kevin image of each other. other that's the thing as Kevin has pointed out multiple times everyone that's in our core family here are murderers they have mm-hmm. murdered lots mm-hmm. of people, bad, bad all people. for no they reason how for no fu- even this movie starts yep. they just murk like half of this Russian army or whatever to get this fucking EMP That's the thing. end. Oh, this, uh, uh, just yeah, the very yeah, first yeah. thing. They're like, we got to go get this. They blow up this giant base. They blow up an entire base. Yeah. Did you use They're all the dynamite? That's a barracks. They were sleeping. You just kill people in their sleep, Tyrese. <laughs> Roman Pierce likes to save it. Well, Roman Pierce is a fucking mass murderer. <laughs> 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 Number 11 on the list, though. Greg Miller. God, that was yeah. so funny. Hit me with the plot. Plot, 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 plot. Everybody! Let's open in Havana, Ooh, Cuba, nah, nah. everybody, if you didn't the know. The first American movie ever to be shot in, in Cuba. How'd they do it? That was a fact of the Furious. They went. Uh, you, 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 you do the song. We got information if you're curious. So here's the facts of the Furious. Facts, facts of, of the, the Furious. furious. Yeah, I already said it. Oh. Is there any so other ones it, you want to toss out? There's oh, no other good. It was the first American movie ever to be shot in Cuba. Because wow. we lifted our ban on them by then, right? Or whatever. I don't, have we actually lifted the band? I, the, I think they put it back. <laughs> huh? I think yeah, they put it back. We made a song about them. I watched CNN like, like three years ago, I think. I don't Either know. way, <laughs> fucking, uh, this made me want to go to Cuba. Yeah. It's beautiful. All the classic cars. Classic cars. I love that they actually infuse a little bit of the like what they really have to do because Cuba is known for like mm-hmm. having all these amazing classic cars. They have to keep up. So they have that part where he's like, that's a boat thing. That's yeah, a big boat part. Motor, yeah. It's just, it's cool to see that. Really it's cool, cool to see them like happy. And we get in this, what I would think is actually a really cool race. 
Like, I actually like this part. It was, yeah, this is racing for the sake of, like, pride absurd. and fun. Oh, yeah. like, the whole race like, was We're absurd. trying to be different. You know, let's, yeah. like, let's do something that, that mm-hmm. is just a straight race, but, yeah. like, also has some different elements we haven't seen. But that's great, right? So they challenged Dom. They're like, hey, your cousin is a dipshit who put his fucking piece of shit car up against this. Now he owes me. And he's like, oh, you're one of those guys. Well, no, at first, Dom is, like, on the, the loan shark side, right? Where he's like, you fucking always a honor a deal. Yeah, and yeah. then the guy's like, are you going to pay one way? He's like, oh, you're one of those guys. And he's like, yeah. oh, okay. So And then he, talk, then okay. he steps to Letty. And that don't ain't step cool. to Letty. Don't you know fucking I mean? step yeah, to Letty. Yeah, 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 don't yeah. do it. Don't do it. Um, Dom uses Brian's engine trick from the first movie to, like, to, to go, and then he says the busted thing. It's like that's cool. Busted. Oh, that's kind of nice. Fun what cool. was his engine trick? Though? I mean, I know what it was in the thing. He pulls the tab, and that does, I don't remember Brian doing that in I the first know. one. They're like making it, it was like remember when he was in the first movie talking to the um, shopkeeper, sure. or whatever about like uh, getting I mean, the oh. car fitted with the things. It's in the very first race that he okay. does the, the one where he's like. Mm-hmm. The, I, I almost had, had you. you. Yeah. You never had your car. Yeah. Yeah. Little great Pacino great scene. Yeah, good now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So then it's going to use uh, your fucking cousin's car. That's a piece of shit. Just take everything off of it. It's not the motor. And they fucking it's tear it off. The, it's not the hand. machine. It's the, take it's it all off my hand. And then it's just the best part. Letty walks over. She's like, Cuban Nos. <laughs> like, all of a sudden. gas. Cuban Nos. It was rolled into a cigar. I just picture being like Cuban coffee or something. That was weird. We did gloss over that Tim just mentioned that the fact that he pulls the car apart by hand mm-hmm. just starts pulling panels it's off his car. It's old. Steel Cuba cars. panels that are probably welded to the fucking they chassis. They didn't show us like a, him like untightening all the bolts. But you I'm know sure Dominic he Toretto. Did. He understands cars. At one point you have to lift it up, right? I mean, he got. lifted a car at one point so he could pull off That panels. was a supercar. A supercar, yeah, yeah. So now this isn't a quarter mile race. This is a Cuban mile race. Mm-hmm. Another one of like, what the fuck does that mean? You know, it was a Cuban mm-hmm. mile so it was a full mile then. Well, I mean, they go all over the city as usual. You know, they go all crazy and drive around. like, Start racing, 40 like, kilometers an hour. I would have race into the streets. Can I just say that I would have been so nervous to be given the responsibility to stop traffic like Michelle Rodriguez had. That was cool like, though. If I was yeah. the person that had to be on the motorcycle who has never done this before and like <laughs> are, like who like given really loose directions of like make You're sure you drive like You're oh, a buster. fuck oh, like I I just yeah, be looking around I'd crash I'd fuck up. Greg is right. You're not a street You're a buster. buster. You know what I mean? Uh, Although, true, I, this, this is why I like this race though because they actually show those components yeah. of like oh they gave the other people something to do. You got to go stop traffic. That's kind of cool. I'm like you always wondered how they not fucking T-bone people every time they go through intersections. So they're just running around, they're they're shooting through. Dom's you give them a good run. The guy pulls away. Dom's using some knots. Uh, people are doing things, and finally the guy's like, "I'm not gonna be able to do it. Like fucking cheat for me, ghost him." And so he, they ghost ride the whip. And they, they yeah. ride the motorcycle over and he jumps off great. it and then the thing goes and it crashes and Dom should be dead, but he's not, of course. Yeah. He's like, Well, now I'm just really mad. And then he hits more NOS, maybe. And the engine's like fucking going nuclear orange and everybody's like, Oh man, what's gonna happen? And like it's starts intense. on starts it's on so fire. Cool. And then Dom oh, let's see if your trick works, Buster. And he pulls the thing and it works, but it's even hotter now. And so then the thing's on fire, but Dom's in the lead, or he's about to be in the lead. So then he spins it backwards and he does it in reverse. Fuck yeah, he does. Driving in reverse down the thing, right? And then he pulls ahead and he wins, and everybody's like, Yeah. And then Tom's like, get out of the way. Cause all these people are like, Oh, you won, I'm gonna come in the road. These people yeah. are, 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 are drunk as fuck. <laughs> it's all the background like, people from party. Daytona USA. They don't yeah. know what the fuck's going on. <laughs> <laughs> and Dom flips it off, jumps out of the car, of course, onto the asphalt, fl- throws it into the ocean. Everybody runs around him and celebrates. Only the kids come up to him at first, though. Because only the kids can understand Vin Diesel and calm the monster. Jesus Christ, though, it's like these movies are not subtle, and I know we no. shouldn't expect that from the Fast and the Furious. No, uh, but they, but like, but but you, but like, to get like he can't be everything. You know what I mean? He, he can't, can't be, be Jesus Vin to Diesel. these kids. But, but no, I just love it though. It's like it's oh, so ridiculous. He's gonna have a kid. Oh, Him and Letty are thinking about a family. So they have yeah, that and then Letty, Letty looks at with the next <laughs> thing, <laughs> and then of, of Letty being like, "Ha, maybe we should have a kid." Yeah. Uh, but then the the fucking loan shark walks over. And he's like, oh man, you get my, here's my keys. And he's like, I don't want your keys. Your respect's good enough. And I'm like, this motherfucker talks shit to Letty and is a loan shark. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't he's know if respect's good enough, cousin. Dom. You know what I mean? And then Dom gives his nice, nice car to the cousin who we'll never see or hear from again, probably. Also, oh, bad yeah. investment, by the way, because the cousin obviously can't make a bet to save his fucking life. Sure, yeah, he's, he's losing an that Apollo tomorrow. Yeah. Well, he, he, he didn't bet the car. He got a loan from the loan shark. The and loan put the shark car up against against the loan. The loan shark then was like, "I'm taking the car because he That's wanted collateral. to sell it yeah. to Americans because they really like." Yeah, they, I get it. And guess what's going to happen? He's going to do the same thing again because he didn't learn his fucking yeah, lesson. It's a, it's because Dom stepped in and solved good. the problem for him. I do exactly. like. He's addicted I do like to pie. <laughs> I do like that when the loan shark. I was like, "What is a fruit in Cuba? A pie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, not a fruit. 
Yeah. Isaiah, that is a like, racist, racist cultured asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that one that. Well, well I didn't want to do drugs. You know what I mean? Yeah, guys, what, like, I was like, what would be a funny thing? And like, maybe we could get the the mango joke back. But paella, there it was. Watch out for the mango. The loan shark part was really dumb, and we can all admit that, like. Dom, this guy tried to fucking kill you. That's really stupid that you're just accepting of it. But then well, later on, when, when Charlie Theron calls that out, it's like, oh, good. They are self. They are aware that yeah, that's that an extremely yeah. stupid that decision. Shit up. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't well, think no, that he's growing up, right? He's understanding like he doesn't he have to fuck everybody him. up. Yeah, 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 yeah. But see, I didn't take it as that. I, ch- I, to took it as, <laughs> I took it as this is how he makes friends. Like this is how he proves sure. to other people like, hey, you can be better. Yeah. And he's he, an yeah, avenging angel. Yeah, I actually like this scene because I was like, oh, that was a cool thing to do. And you, you just showed this guy there's a better way. And maybe this guy will hook you up later and in a fucking flashback that. montage <laughs> that we don't need. Yeah. We don't need to bring this no, guy we back. Need and it. also, well, thanks for the punch. No, thanks for the punch on the keys. Because I forgot. Hey, dude, the keys, man, he owns Cuba now, man. Those are the keys to Cuba, Cuba dude. It's, it's a metaphor. What you gotta fucking love fucking it. Did they name the cousin? Fernando, I believe. Are you just making that I'm up? I'm not making that up. Oh, Go okay, to okay. Wikipedia. I'm pretty because, sure. Because uh, Fast and Furious Spy Racers, Spy the, Racers. the upcoming animated show. Jesus. I, I remember, Wait, that's real? Jesus. Yeah, it's coming to Netflix, baby. Uh, Fast and Furious begins as teenager Tony Toretto follows in the footsteps of his cousin Dom when he and his friends are recruited huh. by a government agency to infiltrate an elite, elite racing league serving as a front for an Fernando. Fernando. crime Damn. organization bent on world domination. Good memory. So I, mean, I literally cousins. just read the plot summary because I don't remember shit from this movie. So. There's a lot of <laughs> Uh, so then, yeah, we should have a kid too. Maybe we will, Letty. Maybe we will. They walk off to have their Havana life. Also, Google an image search of paella. Eating eat some paella. <laughs> it's, it's rice. It's like rice, yeah, with like seafood and you're other thinking, stuff You're in thinking there. Uh, like plantanos or like a, hey. like a uh, whatchamacallit. I'm just thinking oh of a God. fruit that wasn't a fruit that I, I see in the store all the time, I like papaya. apples. Yeah. Papaya. So much. Yeah. I mean, well, yeah, I wanna, now I want to know what paella looks like. Oh, it's just rice. Is that it. what... Do, who, this is Paella also in a famous uh, episode of the Cosby Bear, Show. Look up Paella. Where Cliff was on a diet, right? And like the teacher was making Paella and like he went and, they, and then Claire caught him. It was a really watch. cute episode. Really? Yeah. I didn't watch this show. I know everything about the Cosby I know, Show. So it talks about and it another. sucks that it's all vaulted off now because Bill Cosby is a horrible person. Yeah, Tim's eating a Pop Tart right now. He won't even you share, share that Pop Tart with, with me. Come on, man. Well, I'm Let fucking me, hungry too. You know what I mean? Pop Tart together. Damn, damn Paella. They have shrimp. Paella is shrimp today? Yeah. I have to go to work, but yeah. Dude, I love shrimp. Daddy's got to go to work. <laughs> Daddy's got to stay home. Speaking He's got of which, hot link chunks in there too. This next scene is fantastic. We go! Real quick. I feel like at this point we get the Fast and Furious or Fate of the Furious logo, which I love because it's a throwback to the original Fast and Furious like logo type, like font type that they use and like the way that they show it, where it looks exactly like that because it's the first time that we've had the thes for a long time. It looked really cool. I appreciate that shit. Awesome. Dope. Uh mm-hmm. do we go to Charlize then first? Probably. We're gonna go there, everybody. Okay. Strap the fuck in. Uh Dom's walking home. I got a rose and I got a baguette. I'm in Cuba. Hey yo. <laughs> <I'm> having <laughs> a great time. <laughs> and then he, oh, that, happy day. <laughs> Charlie Theron's bent over a car and it's not working and he's like, uh, this is a problem over here. And he's she's like, Yeah, I got some problems. And he comes over and he's like, Oh, this is what this is And they're like, Yeah, well, I got it. And she's like, well, there is no oh, fate is what you there is no if fate's real and you're here because of no fate. No fate what you make it. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Little Terminator time. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna kill Dyson. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how much longer I keep it. Can we do Terminator interview? Fuck uh, yeah! There's only two of them. I was gonna, no, no. There's a whole bunch more we'd have nah, to watch. We stop it too. Um. So yeah, she set all this up. She closed the coffee shop in the road and all the shit to funnel him down <laughs> this way to be like, that's how fucking powerful I am. You're gonna work for me because I have this phone. He looks at the phone. He's like, oh, and he's like, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Well, we don't know what he's seeing. Immediately, the sexual tension just. It was real. It's real. It wasn't. It's hot. Oh, yeah. You don't think so? No. No. Oh, I don't think really. I don't I think she was just capable yeah, of having any sort also, of like I felt it. I mean, Vin Diesel has screen. sexual chemistry with anybody he's on screen with. But yeah. she, it's just, it's because it's it's the opposite. She does this a lot. Yeah. Like she does <laughs> You fucking monster. She does the close talking, so maybe that's what I felt. Maybe. Sure. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, she was definitely trying to trick Oh, my God. You're going to have to work for me and turn on your your family. Oh, no. And so then, we, yeah, then we're going to jump over to the United States of America. Thank you very much. USA, where we got plantains. Uh, the Rock is on the Peanuts. side. The Rock's giving an inspiring speech. And guess what? He's talking to a bunch of little girls. Ah, oh, how cute. And then it's time for the soccer match. And they walk out there and they do the, the that. Uh, what is it called? Haka. And that is Samoan? Hawaiian? It's, uh, Hawaiian? Hawaiian? No, it's not. It's not exclusively Hawaiian. It's uh, Jason Aldo. Momoa did it too at the Polynesian. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Polynesian. Yeah, yeah. Polynesian maybe. Yeah, and there's sure. also that really inspiring video it's, where the entire class does it for that dead teacher. You ever seen that? 
Oof, no, okay. Okay. But this is all, I love this part because they do it and then they immediately cut to the other team. Yeah, they're like, what the fuck? I was like, like, I don't want to play soccer. I hated that line. I feel like this movie has yeah. a has a couple Stop talking. choices Stop with, talking. <laughs> with uh, edits and cuts where I'm just like, we didn't need that. Like the joke was already it already hit. Like yeah. you went one thing too far. Like seeing the girl's reactions, funny. Seeing the girl be like, mean, I don't like, want to play anymore. Like she might have well gone awkward. Like she might as well have done that like fucking stereotypical That's so joke. Raven. We, yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it felt like, like that. It felt like a Disney Channel original movie type. Bullshit. Sure, it's like you're better. So than they these guys. start playing. We cut back to the they're sidelines. The Rock's <laughs> there. Not. He's coaching, and guess what? Some government hack shows up and basically is talking about all the national secrets on the sidelines. Yeah, <laughs> and hey, guess what? This EMP is missing. We need to put you back in. He's like, I'm coaching the fucking game. Stay away from me. And they go back and forth. Awkward. They did a reshoot here. Everybody else notice this? No. Like all of it's shot on the sidelines, and then there's a reshoot insert a couple times with the, the, the agent, mustache. where it's like clearly green screen. It's terrible green screen. Really? It doesn't matter. Really? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, Hard to believe too that they wanted more of the scene because it goes on forever. It goes on forever. Right. Yeah. Goes on forever. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, we get it. Rock's trying to be a dad, but he's got to go to work. Blah blah blah. Uh, and then he gets the guy to cheer for the team, which is funny. Uh, daughter comes over after scoring a goal. That's my girl. You got to go to work. Daddy's got to go to work. All right, cool. Uh, we cut to him calling everybody. He calling Dom. He calls Dom. Dom he calls Dom, and he's like, "Hey, man." You, he, Dom's like cleaning guns or something weird. No, he's, just he's sitting like there. soldering, he's which I thought something. was oh, yeah, really yeah, he's weird. Working he was on something. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, was he working on the Dead Man Switch? The uh, I think he was the working. Yeah, the ah, yeah. well, good. Yeah. Well played. Uh. Well played, everybody. Uh, uh, yeah, Barrett. Or Maori. AKA Bear Bear has brought this up. It's from the, it's from Bear Maori, Bear. Culture? Maori. Maori culture. Maori culture, uh, which culture. originated in New Zealand. Thank you very much. New Zealand. Um. So we call Toretto. The team's in. It's Great. Insane. We just jump cut to them racing away with EMP, blowing it up, killing soldiers. They fucking did it. You know they what I mean? It. This is what the team we does. Got a team. ball, baby. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. It's really cool that we've gotten to the point where it's like, all right, they're on this crazy mission. It already happened. Look at them all running away. Yeah, this isn't yeah. like this isn't yeah. detail. You don't need these yeah, details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did it. All right, you've seen it before. Something funny happened. Tej yelled at Roman. Ramsey mm -hmm. just sat there. <laughs> Great, we're done. Uh, so they're going. It's uh, beers on me. They peel off. Uh, Rock and Vin go one way. The rest of them go the other. And Rock race. Oh, also, Vin has the thing where he looks at Letty and he's like, "Well, you'll see when this is all over." And she's like, "What?" And she just keeps driving away. That's weird. Clearly, this is weird, but whatever. It's just an annoying part of this movie. Is like the, he couldn't get a message to them explaining what was happening. Like, what would have been the harm of that? She said, "If you tell anyone, I'll murder your baby." But like, you think you'd be like, "Cool." Also, she said, "If you tell anyone, I'll murder your baby." So keep it on the DL. Then when he, she shows him, like immediately after showing him, she's no, no, like, I, "I get Don't that." Tell anyone, but you can give uh, Letty like a wink, like you know what I cool. mean, like come just on. mouth. Baby, yeah, baby. <laughs> clear bomb, baby, <laughs> Vin Diesel, baby. Also, like I baby. just, I mean, and I, I know. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Bomb. Everyone has always said it. Greg, you are too American, yeah, right? You are too, too much made up of the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence I'm over there. That, yeah. And, 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 and I, I'm and sorry, mail. everybody. I just have to believe at some point you got to go with the American line of we don't negotiate with terrorists because you're you're not you're not forward thinking enough on this plan, Vin. Yeah. Of like, cool, I'm gonna save my kids' life and and then live in a nuclear hellscape yeah. ruled by this lady I with dreadlocks. Too, but I feel like we know Dom. Yeah, he's going to get out of it. He's, he's going to figure, figure it out. It out. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And guess what? He kind of did. He yeah, I mean, it only cost Elena's did. life, but yeah, yeah, no big deal. Yeah, no, uh, not very good, but one life Maybe, for Although really, like... It's also, just a nice way to wrap that story. Can I get a Facts and the Furious? Can I get a Facts and the Furious on the timeline? Does any of this make sense? Like where she's like, yeah. oh, when Letty, when we found out about Letty, I was gonna, t I was pregnant, mm -hmm. and then I was gonna tell you when you did the last two Fast movies happen that fast that they must have. Her, her hair was long. She cut off all her hair. It grew back to this thing, and she had the baby. But the baby was only a few months old. Well, when you're pregnant, your hair grows faster. What about <laughs> fingernails too? Right? Yeah, everything. Uh, well, it wasn't that different. In all of it, also like with over that much time. The I last think, Fast movie where she got blown baby. out the window, it was a short haircut. And we were all like, that's a really it, good haircut. Let's give it what seven months. To the baby because she knew it was happening already. Okay, maybe six. Okay, right. I'll give you from, seven. From, I'll give you seven. This of, isn't like, even me really shitting no, on it. I'm just, just wondering, trying to think Wait. about it from the moment where we we knew that she was gonna tell him, but then the Letty thing happened. Yeah. So we get six months Shh. post honeymoon, or, or six They're months on the honeymoon. Pre yeah, honeymoon. six months pre honeymoon or going into that the honeymoon, and then then we get the events of six. I think happened very quickly, and then going into to seven. Yeah, I don't think it would have been wait, that wait, long. Wait, wait, wait. At the end of six, did we get the honeymoon? Did they go on the honeymoon? Right? 
No, because the, we're on the honeymoon now. Honeymoon this right is now. the honeymoon oh, also, on Cuba. So they, they fly oh, cars out of airplanes, airplanes, so it doesn't really matter. And it's just like, so, okay, so she had the short haircut. Had she had the baby then in Fast 7? Was she pregnant at that point? No, because she would have lost it getting tumbled out the window like that. I and also fine. she'd be showing by that point. In the arms of... Uh, in the arms <laughs> of... <laughs> of <Dwayne> Johnson. <laughs> Hmm. I'm just. I, I don't imagine she would have had the baby by seven. But then why? Like I, the Rock mm. wouldn't have said anything. He's working directly with her. Maybe she's been gone like, for six months. Mine. I don't know. I don't want to know about this. Yeah. Daddy doesn't want to have to go to work again. <laughs> 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 Whatever. I was just saying that was a little model for my taste. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what I want. It's, it's, <laughs> it's yeah. not. I want clarity. I want fucking thing. And <laughs> I, again, I would have been like, if they were like, you got this baby you've never even heard of, and I'm gonna kill it unless you give me the nukes. I'd be like, I don't fucking care about that kid. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, I, I don't mean, negotiate with terrorists. Slam her head into the fucking car, break her neck. <laughs> it's it's that easy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody makes it so hard. I you do, walk in the bad guys, just shoot him and fucking figure it out later. I do think that you think would, fucking the Capital One Viking guy is gonna see me snap Cypher's head? <laughs> Like, this guy I want to fuck with. Yeah. This guy Probably can't not. be. He but can't be threatened. Insane. Oh, Tormund. Yeah, this guy's crazy. He can't be threatened. Yeah. We showed who his man. <laughs> 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 snapped her neck. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. I really like the motivation in this movie. I thought that like, as dumb as it like, it all seems. It's a good plot to like being this dude who's the whole fucking seven movies yeah. you've seen is get family, it, family, it. family, or six. I Enjoy guess. Enjoy that. Your family. I agree. Um, <laughs> it made counts. sense. Yeah, yeah, it made sense. I remember watching the trailers for it and being like, Dom turns on the team. Yeah. There's no way. Why? This is fucking stupid. Of course. Because yeah. this is the same year that Transformers The Last Night was coming yeah. out, and the trailers were oh, running Optimus. simultaneously. And it was Vin turns on the team and Optimus turns on the team. And you're like, what the fuck is the theme going on right now? And one of the movies did it well, and the other movie didn't. I'll let, you, I'll let you guess. I will say, like, I, I, I like that he outsmarts her. I just wish that they could have incorporated his core team a little bit more. I think the way he actually ends up, like, figuring it out is a little thin and kind of dumb. I don't like all the flashback stuff they do, but I do like the character they introduce later. Yeah. So. so he, you know, beers on me, knocks the rock over, right? I left out the thing that the government guy was like, this is total black ops rock. If you get caught, you're fucked. We're not going to help you at all, which is right. a weird thing, but that's what we're going to do. Super okay, cool. dumb, but whatever. Uh, like Vin all. knocks the rock off. He flips over there. <laughs> Vin walks over, and we again go from calling him Dom to Toretto, which I appreciated again. You can see mm -hmm. these. This is mm -hmm. the, people don't think the rock has it going on upstairs in terms of this characterization. I heard the script just said, whatever you want to say, DJ. That's what it said. You know oh, what I mean? And he's okay. there flipping yeah. his yeah. eyes. Yeah. And then he flexes flex that dick. And he's like, all Jesus. right, I'll do it. Did he flex his dick on <laughs> this? Oh, yeah, you can tell. Oh, wow. Shocker? Anyways, so he's upside down in the car. Vin comes over and takes the thing. He's like, don't do this to right. I want you to do that. The decision is going to be trouble, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, oh, the decision's been made when he gets in the car and drives away. And then he gets to go, uh, I'm down. And Toretto has gone rogue. And it's like, yeah, yeah that's cool. And everybody's like, what? Toretto want to go rogue? Uh, Weird so camera so choice so here for me where uh, the car's flipped. Bro. So the rock is flipped over. But like the way that they shot it makes it look like he's just sitting in a car. Because like oh, the, camera the camera never well. changes. It's just, it's always the camera's upside down too. So I no, thought I it was weird because it just looked there, like the wasn't there was one in a car. shot where like the look like that first shot where it showed the outside in, yeah. of the car, but yeah. from the inside of the car with how close it was, I'm like, that's a weird I, choice. Yeah. I, I really like the way the Rock responded to all of this, where he was like, "You're fucking up, Toretto! Like, don't do this!" Like, I thought it was like pretty convincing. I was like, "Good job, Dwayne. Good job, DJ, Dwayne. DJ, yeah. DJ." Yeah. Um, and so Toretto peels off. He drives away. I think we go back to HQ, and he's like, "Man, I can't believe this happened. Why would yeah, this happen?" Nobody, and, blah, blah, blah. Right? and uh, uh it, well, not yet. I don't think. Oh, okay. And then Ramsey's like. Yeah, maybe he did. And then Michelle Rodriguez is like, bah, and bumps him. And then Tyree's like, oh, you let her bump your shoulder like that? Letty, calm the fuck down. I he get that you're mad. But, like, don't blame Ramsey for this. No, 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 no. She's, but been she, here. she's like, Ramsey doesn't know him. Exactly. Like, she's either been here three you. weeks or three years. We're not sure with the timeline. Nobody but still, knows. she's Aggressive the freshest shoulder face. Bump. Don't yeah. be shoulder bumping bitches. That's all I'm saying. You know Dude, what that's, I mean? Dude, that's, that's what Dom would have done, you know? D Dom's no buster. Nah, he wouldn't have done that. Dom's no buster. He wouldn't have done that. Uh, yeah, great uh, contribution. Uh, <laughs> you said this is when I was talking shit about Vin Diesel. Dumb. Okay, I you said this is when they um, uh, Mr. Nobody shows up, but I don't think so. Well, I think we cut to the prison. Yeah, we go to prison point, where right? Rock's, getting, like, Mr. Nobody. Rock's, Mr. Rock's getting Nobody walked in, and uh, Mr. Nobody walks up with uh, just Scott, cool Scott, Scott Eastwood, Scott Eastwood, who is just who terrible. Get the fuck out, who who's terrible. I like him, but he's t terrible in this movie, desperately trying to make into the new Brian O'Connor. Yeah, I'm like, dude. Stop. No. Stop. 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 St
In the Fate of the Furious, actor Scott That's Eastwood steps in to play, quote, the new white guy, a.k.a. CIA agent Little Nobody. When the team hits the road to go into battle, Little Nobody gets his own ride, a blue Subaru BRZ. Easter Which I found so disrespectful. In the Fast and Furious franchise, blue rides were Brian's things. From Too Fast and Furious through Furious 7, Brian always kept his cars as blue as those dreamy eyes. That's why I always liked him. Yeah, you know sure. I mean? yeah. Also, am I the only one that like the nobody stuff needs to stop? It's just too much. I liked it when they I call like him it. little nobody. He's like that's sticking. I was like, all right. I'm all about the nobody yeah. stuff because it like allows also, them I to do whatever the fuck. No, no, I don't mind the actual the concept of it. I just mean all the dialogue about mm. it. I'm like, come on, guys, yeah, like, it, cut it out a little bit. This the fuck, movie who cares? really dived into that in a way. We're really like, oh. hammering this shit home. Because in last movie when they introduced him, it was kind of a joke. It was a joke. I'm nobody. Nobody. Like, yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, I call him Mr. Nobody. I'm just that's fun. Yeah, but yeah, I agree with you. Where it's like, all right, so that's legit. Ultimately, what they they're going with, I don't like that. I didn't really have a mainly because I don't Scott like Scott Eastwood. Eastwood. Like, I don't, I don't his really? character. What do you uh, against? Oh, the character. Yeah. yeah okay. Oh yeah. But so so let's be clear. Take we do not dislike Scott Eastwood. Seems like a fun he guy. Seems he like a nice guy. Out, you know what I mean? I just so in this character in this movie, he, uh, comes he was off in the Oscar-winning movie Suicide Squad. as useless and and not necessary. He's like the other guy from the from the last movie who's like Sheridan, who's like I'm just gonna be here and fucking everyone makes fun of me for good reason. Yeah, they regret that. I, but why? Like, that's the thing is they shouldn't have regretted it. Like, he's gone. Cool. We get the characterization of Mr. Nobody and all this shit. We don't need this other random well, dude. Well, he's a punk, and he's coming up, and he's a buster, and he's learning how to be a buster. He's and a so good punching bag. The Rock, yeah. hey, Rock, come with we us. So we'll do this. You just though. have to plead guilty. Tyrese, and he's like, I'm not a criminal. Moment, I'll never you know? be a criminal. Don't make me a criminal. What about your daughter? And then, yeah, and then fucking Scott Eastwood, well, Rock breaks the chains like a badass, like my pet monster. And then he grabs him, and he throws <laughs> him up against the wall, and he's like choking him, and Mr. Nobody talks him down, and he drops him. And he's like, I told you, kid. <laughs> and so Rock goes inside the prison, and everybody's yelling at him. And guess what? He's, he's right across the way from Decker Shaw. And Decker Shaw is John at him, and he's John at Decker Shaw. I love it. This and is like, where this movie gets good. Let's like, so shove good. it all together. He's like, so they're yelling good. at each other, being mean to each other. And then we went somewhere else, but we came back, and then Rock rips his bench away no, no, and starts no, no. pumping iron no, no, no. with it. The Rock is punching a wall first. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, true. that's true. He's using a wall as a punching bag first. Mm-hmm. A and cement then, wall. As, yeah, cement wall. Yeah. And then as Statham starts talking shit about how he's not working out enough, The Rock pulls a fucking cement bench off the wall and starts curling it. Mm-hmm. Just curling it. Yeah. It's awesome. Not even bench pressing it, which would have been more appropriate. I mean, yeah, but no, he's, that was, you know, easy, yeah. easy for him. And this is where we get the best dialogue. The best back and I forth. I will beat your so ass, ass beat like your a Cherokee ass. drum. He but he's said like, it with the confidence that like few like, men have. And he's got his arms up like over his thing. And the triceps on this man are like wings. They're like a condor's <laughs> wings. Yes. Holy fuck, I love this. And this is where I fell in love with these two characters. I'm 100%. Like, Give me more. Yeah, 100%. And again, another great thing of like, I feel like this movie kind of understands the, like Kevin was saying this earlier about like, fuck it, they're in the mission. We don't need to like getting them to this thing. It's just like, like the moment I get a chance to beat you, I will, and then the door opens. Yeah, he's like, if this like, door is open, I fucking beat your ass, and the door opens. You're like, and, then, and of course he realizes it's nobody. Yeah. Letting him out, he's like, I I'm can do this on my own, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it, he's screaming. Not, and they, they're like, way. we don't care, and then the ride people come up there, and he's like, it's just a malfunction, and they start fucking shit up, and he's like, no, and then Decker Chaw grabs the thing, and he zaps his thing, and he gets out, and he's like, stop him, and now The Rock's gotta fight the dudes because he wants to stop Decker Shaw, because Decker Shaw is a real uh, <laughs> bad guy who killed Han, which yeah. again, <laughs> a kill that needed to happen. No. A character Stop. that wasn't that a great. thinning of the herd, exactly. As they you know what I mean? Too many characters. Too Nick many. does not agree with this. He's just saying it. <laughs> he's, my, he's, not, he's ride or die. He's ride or die with Greg. That's what I it is. You know what I mean? But I also love that they built. I would agree up. with you if you gave us some of that fucking pop tart earlier. Like I asked, <laughs> the, but you the, the Rock it. walked into this uh, prison and there's just a bunch of people talking shit. Where it's like, oh, he put. There's that so one. Yeah, there's yeah, that yeah, one yeah, guy. There's that one guy. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Keep waiting, bitch. That was awesome. You don't have to wait anymore. Stabbed him in the heart. <laughs> so right in the fucking heart. So You're not waiting. Fuck it. Maybe two so it's a riot and die. they're running and they're fighting and they're sliding. And it's fucking great. This is great. So this is what uh, Hobbs and Shaw is awesome. Totally. Yep. You know what I mean? This is oh my God. Mistake. They fit in this part of the world. This mm-hmm. is what I like about it. I miss the, fa- the family of the Fast and Furious in the heartfelt moments of it. Now, this is good though for Hobbs and Shaw. This is what I want out of them. Yeah. So they're running around. They're fucking shit up. They're fighting. They're jumping on the fence and they're sliding. The rubber around. bullets were so cool. Like Big every mistake. time he got shot, it was like, oh. And then he would just keep going. And it was like, ah. Eventually, they brawl out through an open door. And guess what? There's Mr. Nobody and Little Nobody. And they're like, I thought it took longer than you thought. Get in the fucking car. We're going somewhere. Yay. And they drive off. And then, uh, meanwhile, Vin had driven the EMP onto a runway and was getting chased. And another cargo plane landed. And he drive up in that. And they closed it and flew away. And then it's like, here we are up in the fucking flying fortress thing. Mm-hmm. And it's like, cool. The EMPs up here. And here's, we and got a, I got a bunch of guns. Lounge. I have a whole bunch of guns in this fuck yeah. lounge. Yeah. Cool, these are
Just because it had a bed? That was that's, her room. Was, that's that's that room oozes of sex. Have you been sex. to a sex club, Kevin? Thank yeah, you Kevin. very much. You don't, been you, don't race race culture, you don't understand <laughs> our fringe culture. It's sex room culture. <laughs> Let's just shove it all room. together to you, right? Why not? And so, like, they're doing that, and they're arguing there, and it's like, all right, cool. And then we get the reveal probably a little bit later, but right now we're doing it. If we go downstairs into another part of the plane with the Capital One Viking and Charlize Theron, and we turn on the light, and guess what? Bang, it's Elena. Oh, my God. And what are you doing here, Elena? I have our baby. Oh, my God. We had a baby. Bang. And it's like, yeah, you, weird timeline, but here it is. It's a baby. And it, well, guess what, everybody? This baby is clothed correctly. <laughs> All right, this is a good-looking baby. We dress this like baby that, correctly. I'm like that yeah, fucking little monster, Jack. <laughs> he just can't Marcos. dress himself to save his it's life. Marcos. Well, you, uh, that's his middle name. I think the father should name him his first name. What's he gonna name? I know, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Fernando. <laughs> and so, is, is this where he cries? I forget. It doesn't matter. Really. I think the baby says "dad" every time. Yeah, dad, dad, dad. Yeah. Like, this, this is where he puts up the cross. Puts yeah. up the cross. Yeah, yeah. 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 Little thing, little thing. And that's like, I understand what I'm playing for. We're playing for keeps, and I'm mm -hmm. playing for skins, my kid's skin. Mm -hmm. So cool. Um, that's great. We've locked all that part up. And let's jump all the way back now to the, the Nobody Fortress, where we're walking the rock in, and the team's already there. The rest of the team's already assembled or whatever. And uh, then they bring in Deckert, Deckert, and everybody's like, oh, we fucking hate it. Well, only the rock really is like, oh, I hate this guy. And like, too bad. You all got to work together, because guess what? Uh, there's some really complicated thing that Charlize Theron is behind his whole mm -hmm. downfall, and she's got Dom now. And we need, You guys know Dom. And so everybody's got to work together to stop her. She's already got the EMP. We think she's going after God's eye. We also get a great line where Statham says the rock has a little head. It's really good insults. Really good insults. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like such a big mouth, all a little head. <laughs> and so yeah, they're arguing. It's great. And then all right, cool. We got God's eye. Let's figure out where they are. Oh, uh, they're everywhere. Well. Mm. Here's some mumbo jumbo. We can fucking put in our credit card numbers, bounce it backwards with PayPal, and we'll fucking figure yeah, out yeah, exactly yeah. where they are. Like, Venmo. that's a great idea, everybody. Let's do it. And so it's all beep, boop, 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 boop. And there's like yep. fucking data going Montage. everywhere. Boop, you know what I mean? Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> they're, cheating, they're cleaning glasses, having a great time. And eventually it's like, all right, guess where they are? They're in this building. And Mr. Nobody goes, huh. That's this point. <laughs> <laughs> fucking explosion. Gotta respect. At this point, I'd be like, is Mr. Nobody insane? If I was working with Kurt Russell and he just had the, he has no emotions. We're about to die. Hey, <laughs> everything's fun. It's weird. It's now, kind of fun. This is the, definitely out insane. of all the scenes in this movie, though, this is the one that I'm like, and besides the the forgiving fucking Hans killer, this is the one that I'm like, I don't even understand the logic of this universe making sense. Where Vin Diesel, I get that you need to like lie to your, and you know deceive your family. Right. You just threw. A grenade that popped off into ten grenades into a room where everyone you ever love is in. It's just Sonic West. It, well, yeah, it Sonic was a blast. new type of concussive grenade. Yeah, yeah that's what that she said. It just Got makes you not. It just makes you hear dizzy. it echo. Real dizzy. And you can't for see a while. It. I remember them explaining Unless you're that. Letty. Uh, Unless you're Letty, but like, it you also there's a lot of glass. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. But it's just glass glass moving cars. Well, you know what I mean. But he, so yeah, yeah, they go in there. She grabs God's eye. She's like, "Sucks, you made me come all this way for it. I'm Cipher. I can do anything." <laughs> like, oh my god! And then the, she she goes to leave. And then Michelle Rodriguez, Letty pulls it together. She's like, "Dom!" Dom! She Dom! really does though. Dom! Like this is quite the Dom. Yeah, 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 I know you're still in there. So I don't know what she fucking says. And then Dom just stares at her, and then uh, Charlie Theron comes back and she kisses him, and you're fucking like, "Hot, sexy kiss." You tell me at, at one point to save his child, he didn't fucking get down with Charlie's throwing on that fuck line. I mean, I don't know if that was what she wanted from him, but if she wanted that, that's what it had to be. I just think, you know, if you're willing to kill your friends, aren't you willing to fucking, you know, slice off a little cheddar in the sex lounge? I mean, he straight up asked her if he wants it the next scene. He's like, did you want that? Yeah, yeah, the next scene, they're back on the plane, they're like, what the fuck was that? She's like, you didn't fucking move away from it, did you? You know what I mean? And I get it. I feel for him, because I'd be playing the part, too, right? I gotta convince them I'm bad, apparently. My kid's life online, I gotta make out with Charlize Theron. Fuck the rest of the world. Their kid's their winner for everybody, but, you know, at least my kid will be there with three fucking eyeballs. always planning to stop her. Three eyeball Brian. You can see left, right, and up. <laughs> Just feasted on fucking life right with a reindeer. <laughs> you see two different directions at once with two eyes? Just because he has three eyes, he can look three directions. He <laughs> can see, he can see that, he can see the sky fairy prey. He can make sure hawks don't come pick him up. <laughs> but like right now, can you look left and right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He just looked. Ah. <laughs> uh, so that happens. Then they have a the team has a moment of just getting their asses handed to them. Like, oh my god, now he's got God's eye and this, that, and the other. We gotta, we gotta go after him. 
Uh, last place we saw him was in New York or some shit like that. I forget. They, no, they, I think they have to go to the Jesus. toy shop at this point, right? Because like, they're like, oh, well, they got guys uh, on. Yeah. So we got to fucking go low key and we got to smuggle ourselves. In well, that's, truck. that's in New Jason, York. Jason Statham like somehow figures out some Which way was to find back where they're oh, just like, the, oh, he can find whoever the fuck he yeah. wants. Whatever he wants. The right. sonars. It was the sonars. So he's going to do it here. Oh, right. The, the, the ship Satellites. that can go through. Ah, right. They can. They, the there's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can stay off the grid if you know how it all goes. And so it lines up that he's going to New York. All right, let's all go to New York. Um, they're driving, and then Dom's driving on the bridge, and then underneath the bridge, they're driving in a truck, and they pull the truck up, and it's a fish truck, and they're in fish place, and they walk in, and it's like, well, no, there was no cameras in here. I'm like, oh, that's wow, what God's, eye. I think God's eyes everywhere. But anyways, then they walk in, they open the back door, and bam, it's the fucking toy shop. Like you're talking about cars everywhere and tanks, and Roman Pierce really wants this uh, fucking Maserati. Yay! Seventeen million dollars worth of cars yeah. in that shot. Wow. Yeah. It's a lot so of they're all like we this, get, we get and we're gonna do that. Yeah, he just blatantly thing. insults the poor, for the guy that's got the the the, or the forklift Santa. driver. Yeah, the guy's like, "Fuck you, dude, get out of my way. I'm just doing my job here." It's my job, Tyrese. <laughs> and and I love how they're all working on like, there's so many people in there working on cars all the time. Like, damn, this, yeah, is this what you do even if the, we weren't in this mission? Hell yeah! Uh, and this is a random weird fact of the Furious is so Eva Mendes was supposed to be in this movie. Oh, nice! And like, she was supposed to be like the cop in New York or whatever. And like, I don't know if that just got straight up scrapped or what, but like. Before the movie came out, there was like a ton of reports of like, yeah, she's making a return. She's like Neat. she did interviews and shit. Would have been real huh. cool if she was like the person leading them through all this stuff. That would have been cool. Instead of Scotty Eastwood, yeah, yeah, that would have been awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not that I hate Scotty Eastwood. I'm not putting on the actor, Actually, just the character. Sure. I want to be clear. I just not, okay. I, no, yeah. because you said like you made it sound like you hated Scotty's. No, he knows I like him. What up, Scott? Um. So yeah, we got the shop now, and Vin is in New York. And this is where uh, we get the dead man, where he's right. like, "I'm gonna click this little inconspicuous." Nobody giant noticed red I button. put this giant red button in my car. He hits it to kill the engine. He pulls out like, oh, "It just broken. seems like he's outsmarting these people very easily with very low tech solutions." And but that's also fine. extremely complicated stuff. He sure. couldn't contact anyone, but somehow, somehow I contacted the guy from Cuba and, and the, told him to come the Shaw to New York. family. Yeah. <laughs> and that, this, this, car this, there. this is this is the issue, right? So I'm like, why didn't why the big reveal at the end should have been they were all like, oh, we all knew that at the same time, and they somehow figured out how to get Roman Pierce onto the fucking plane instead of Statham. It's fine, I love Statham, don't get me wrong, but like Roman would have got shot at me. This is yeah, a weird Roman thing where gone. this this scene should hey, have been baby, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> this scene should have been, hey, we stopped. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? The thing pulls out. Oh, okay, he's there. But instead, we get this whole scene where it's like totally spoiled that he's plot. He's he's actually ahead of them the entire time. But we do get Helen Miram. So hell yeah, we she's do. good. She's good. She's there such like her later in the ambulance. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. that whole interaction. Fuck, it works every time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was great. He's done that. It's set up great. She uh, he drives out, and then it's like uh, now we need zombie cars, right? No, oh, we're going after the nu- the Minister of Defense for Russia. He's got the nuclear football with him. And right. I fucking love this entire scene. Mm-hmm. There's about 30 scene. minutes here that are just fucking, just one up, rad, rad, rad. We got Vin chasing this guy, and it's like, you already see it change. I'm like, this is not going to end well for him. Dude, he picks up that fucking saw thing. Where he's like, don't worry, this is bulletproof. And you see him walk out with a gigantic. Cool. Dude, his it's all oh, you're a bad guy from Captain yeah. America now. Yeah, that's it's dope ridiculous. As hell. But I love, like, that's all happening. But then you get the shot of all of them getting in the cars and then going out. And that was definitely one of those, like, let's fucking yeah, go, baby. Yeah. Let's fucking go. And then all of that going through with the zombie cars is like, so it's perfect. It's fucking perfect. It's so dumb. And like, this is the type Fun of action thing scene. that I don't think anybody could have ever guessed would happen in a Fast and Furious. 100%. Like, yeah. They're going to control thousands of cars and just fucking literally call them zombies cars and attack everybody. It looks just like World War Z. It's CGI looks exactly. real bad. <laughs> it was, but who gives yeah. a shit? It was yeah, awesome. Like, yeah, and then it, for that so scene cool. to end with one of the coolest scenes in the whole franchise of Vin Diesel being in the car, all of them tethering, harp, tethering to him, and then him taking them all down like it's a wrestling match. You know what I mean? Like yeah. With the car. Like, fuck, that's so cool. Um, I... It's really interesting, like, because I feel like they do a good job of, like, making these characters seem smart. Like, even though it's, like, Dom, his idea of attacking this undestructible limo of, indestructible, like, indestructible, indestructible sorry, uh, with this thing and cutting into the, the gas, gas tank and uh, sitting there with the flare, like, that's brilliant. That was cool. That's that real was really smart. Cool. Until you realize, I'd be like this, go ahead, throw it in there. See what happens. The car will explode. And you're on top of the car. 
Yeah, that's smart. He, he was wearing he's in like he a has, bomb outfit. He knows he's a coward. He had, I know he had shin pads 30. on, guys, but like, I'm like, this is an absurd I'm idea. I'm not wearing like, hockey pads. This is definitely a mutually assured destruction kind of situation also, here, buddy. Throwing a stick of like flare, a flare into a uh, thing. There's the, the saturation science. is correct. <laughs> science, science with Kevin. I'm Kevin. It's not how <laughs> I but sound. You. But like the cartoon version of you that would pop up yeah. in the anime yeah, graphic yeah, in my yeah, head yeah. is a cartoon. Uh, That's how I was just Boom. saying that like you. Yeah, throwing that in there won't make it explode. Like, there has to be a mixture of, like, air and gas. Sure. That's correct. I mean, again, this yeah. whole thing is completely absurd. Yeah. Not only the fact that, but, it was but a cool idea. why does the Russian, this guy have the nuclear football for Russia on his wrist? And also, once stolen, do they not have a contingency plan to change these codes? No, they just... Is there just not a possibility impossible. of, like, hey, uh, look, that thing that was on my wrist, that's, I'm not supposed to have a key to, but apparently I have a key to it, because mm-hmm. thus, why the fuck would you... Put it on my wrist with a fucking uh, what do they call it, handcuff? Yeah. If I could just take the handcuff off, yeah. totally and useless. that's the other thing too. Another bunch of cowards in there. Uh, oh, oh, don't kill idiots. us! We'd rather die in the nuclear fallout that'll end. Yeah. Yeah. Now, here's the other thing: is I'm so ready to die for something. Die for something. <laughs> die for something. Dude, like, I don't want this to actually. <laughs> I could see up. <laughs> be addressed <laughs> in any in any way because it wouldn't make any goddamn sense. But this must be one of the biggest. Damage control necessary situations in recorded human history. Yeah, where New York is now devastated. Yeah, yeah. by thousands of cars piled up everywhere, and everything turned out had a computer in it. It's insane though. Like, Including think about the shit cabs. I was gonna say every had, fucking like, broke what? ass old New York cab. That stupid thing in the back that plays extra in Jeopardy took over. And also, like, <laughs> I, I respect that things that, that cars have seat like computers in them. Mm. But I don't like unless it it's a self driving car. Was fun yeah. I don't think you but could take all these cars over and actually turn show. them. It was a spectacle to see yeah. that many cars traveling at the same speed that in that close proximity to each mm-hmm. other. Because you're you're used to just seeing like if there's that many cars, it's traffic and everybody's slow. But like to have it look like a fucking Her, like a, a school well, of fish, you know. They have yeah. the, and again, awesome. shout out to so uh, cool. uh, uh, F. Gary Greer is his name, yeah. the director, F. Scott and, and, uh, whatever, uh, and his and his. Uh, and it's people that shot this because there's a couple great scenes, not the least of which was that where we cut to the elevator and the parking structure, and the guy goes to get out, and just in the in the yeah. foreground mm-hmm. cars just like speeding past him. Uh, uh, like, that's really cool. Obviously, a lot of CG on top of it, but they're they practically that was the most cars they've ever destroyed in the franchise so far, where they practically had cars fly out of a fucking parking garage. That's um, cool. So to get them to to land, yeah. and a lot of that That's footage so cool. of the cars, like how they actually landed on top of each other and shit, they used that and like composited shit on top oh, of it cool. as like the the graveyard of of cars and stuff. What if thought didn't really ring as practical? That was all it just looked like a bad CG, 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 but whatever. Is, but yeah. Um, before we continue with the plot, let me tell you that this episode of. Fast and Furious in Review is brought to you by Quip. One of the most important things we do for our health every day is brush our teeth, yet most of us don't do it properly. We use Quip. I use Quip. I use Quip. Quip. Yeah. Yeah. It's you fantastic. Stole the Quipping one. out. Quipping out. It. Yeah. There you go. Um, I've been brushing my teeth wrong for many years. I'm very happy that now that has all changed because of these sensitive sonic vibrations for an effective clean that's gentle on your sensitive gums. Built in two minute timer pulses every 30 seconds to remind you when to switch sides and help you clean your mouth evenly. Multi-use cover works as a stand, mounts to mirrors, and slides over your bristles to pack and protect your quip on the go. It's fantastic. It's super easy. I love that it's just one thing you need to worry about, um, whether you're keeping it at home, using a stand, or taking it on the go. Uh, brush heads are automatically delivered on a dentist-recommended schedule every three months for just $5, a friendly reminder when it's time for a refresh and to stay committed to your oral health. Uh, we've been using it for a long time. We love how easy and reliable it all is. It's great to not have to ever think about going out and buying new toothbrushes and toothpaste again when it's too late. That's why we love Quip and why over 1 million happy, healthy mouths do too. Quip starts at just $25. And if you go to getquip.com slash KFMS right now, you can get your first refill pack for free. That's your first refill pack free at G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash K-F-M-S. There's a limited edition one that's jet black and it's all black everything, including the bristles. I have that and it's dope Look, AF. Yes, exactly. <laughs> dope as hell. <laughs> Uh, and also shout out to Audible. With Audible, you get access to an unbeatable selection of audiobooks, including bestsellers, motivation, mysteries, thrillers, memoirs, and more. Audible has the largest selection of audiobooks on the planet, and now with Audible Originals, the selection has gotten even more custom with content made for members. Nick used Audible to listen to Stephen King's Salem's Lot. How was that experience? That's fantastic. I love Audible. I swear by it. 
Audible members can choose three titles every month, one audiobook and two Audible originals you can't hear anywhere else. Audible members also get access to exclusive audio fitness programs to start the new year off right on the right foot. Listen on any device, anytime, anywhere, at home, at the gym, on your commute, or just on the go. Get creative, ladies and gentlemen. You'll also enjoy easy audiobook exchanges, rollover credits, and an audiobook library that you get to keep forever, even if you cancel. Audible, the most inspiring minds, the most compelling stories, the best place to listen. Go to Audible dot com slash kf or text kf to 500 500 and listen for a change that's a u d i b l e dot com slash kf or text kf to 500 500 Greg, so Kevin, back, show me the black oh, toothbrush. Geez, it looks I didn't cool. steal it. Yeah, I had, I had to look it up. Toothbrush, by the way, it's you amazing. just weren't yeah. here for half a day, and someone had to use it, and then I stole it. Do you understand? It came it. with Tim's name on it. It came. Lots of things come with it. Tim's name on it. You know Hot. what I mean? Hot. Uh, so what we're back on the plane. Oh, because they, you know, Michelle Rodriguez and chased down Dom. Ah. He wouldn't shoot her, but then Capital One guy was going to shoot her, but then Dom said to pull the gun and his whole thing, but then they got the football back, so it didn't matter, and they all ran away. And then back in the plane, she's like, listen, man. He goes down to Elena's cell. Listen, man, you clearly are not playing with the team. You just need a reminder how fucked up I am, so I'm going to kill Elena. He kills, she kills Elena. But we have know in future or in the past movies that if we don't see someone die, they might not be dead. We know, sure. In case it was a point, fake head. We don't see Jason Statham get shot. In this movie, turns out he's not dead. And just oh, see yeah, him great, afar. great oh, point. Yeah, 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 you guys see the bullets go in. Yeah, sorry. Oh, so yeah, he stays in the Jason, he got alive. shot, and he went down. Yeah. Yeah. I felt like it was still alive. Interesting. Han, still alive. I felt it was like some interesting editing when uh, they go to shoot her. I like the, like... Um, it was all like um, out of focus, mm -hmm. but uh, it like goes on to Charlie's Theron, and she kind of looks like she feels bad about it. I didn't see that. No. Yeah, I they cut away. Oh, well, I also cool watched scene. the extended version. Oh, maybe that was different. There. I, yeah. I think I did too. She stayed alive in the extended version. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Jason Statham uh, getting shot. I remember in theaters and even here being like, huh? And then I remember, oh, this is what, how it happens. But like that was a, a shocking moment. Sure. Sure. Elena getting shot was uh, also in theaters and the most recent time it's watching of the weekend was take care of my couldn't son. Be, couldn't believe they went there. Yeah. Honestly, really I dark. Because like. the Fast and Furious is not great at salt. Like they, they they're really good at like creating these bad situations that they didn't have to write themselves out of. And this one's like this. You could just tell they were like, how do we get Elena out of this so that Letty can raise this kid? Oh, I know. Put a bullet in her head. Yeah. That's because uh, if not, it. she's gonna. I mean, what Dom has to actually have some sort of moral conundrum, and we can't give. Give Dom any sort of moral conundrum. Two moms. He cannot have conundrum, yeah. any adversity other than him being just fucking constant. So let's just take this out of his equation. God forbid he would have had to make that choice. Like, do I go with Ali? Or, there's no choice. Yeah, you're there's allowed. No choice. You're yeah. allowed to have a kid with another woman well, and not marry. What I'm saying is that this is like. I, I just don't like this about any of these, the new installments is that Dom is just a superhero character that never has to ever. He's never faced but with any sort of. This problem. whole movie's about him having a choice <laughs> to go and like. But Go with the bad guys and then try to fair, defeat but I, him. I'm talking about more of like an emotional choice of like what what is he going to do? Like like if 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 it had like actually been she lives, then what do we do? We have to. I mean, he that's has to have easy. a scene with Letty, yeah. but no, Letty's like, no, we're fine. We're well, together. But, but I feel well, like I'm, not, I'm not conflicted about this She's whatsoever. That you had a child with another woman. That, While by the you way, thought I was dead. While you were both just fucking because you missed your other partner. So let me ask you a question. Yeah. You uh, you think Jen would be okay with this? <laughs> in the, my wife wouldn't. In be. the crazy amount of situ like with all the background, yes, Jen's dead. I've I'm not in love Jen with I'm dead. not so in love a, with this woman. You bring but a child home one day that your wife did not know it happened, and you're forgetting it's the a whole five second conversation where we're cool with it. No, if, if no. she had been no dead for way. like three or four years, then I, there's. You think Paula would be okay with no, that? No, definitely not. Paula would not. You think Paula would be okay with <laughs> not that? Not even a little bit. You think Paula would be like this? Uh, you thought I was dead? You're a dumbass. That's what's happening right here. You, if you, I brought a baby home to Gia, she'd be stoked. <laughs> <laughs> Fair point. Anyways, Lane is dead. Dom understands how serious they are, but he's also super pissed. He's a tiger. He's got a boot on his neck. You know, eventually I have to take that off. Whatever the fuck. I really like that whole, like, they kept saying it. The callback yeah. is great. Uh, they gotta stop. With that now shit. they need to get. They have the nuke codes, so now they is, need dude. to get the nuke sub. Uh, the ba the good guys they figure that out too. So they gotta go up to Russia ish. They found something that led yeah. them that way too. So we're all gonna go up there. It was a Russian base that had been taken over by separatists. But it was in yeah. it was in yeah. between being that taken back over by yeah. Russia. Yeah, yeah, so it was whatever. Yeah, that's exactly what it meant. Yeah. And so like, don't feel bad. Also, Russia, maybe you want to take that base back because it's got a giant submarine with a bunch of nukes in it. 
Just FYI, Russia. Yeah. yeah hey, Putin, yeah. get on your fucking, get off the horse. Let's get to work. So Should everybody races in right. there, and of course, for some reason, Roman Pierce brought a Maserati. You're like, this is, nobody talked oh, him right. out of this? Wait, they also had that scene where they're in the toy box, and the guy. Like, oh, it's, it, little number, number three. Like, there, there are, are no, no rules. rules. Just You're do whatever you want. Fucking, what, what are you fucking talking about? Yeah, what is this? What is this? Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. <laughs> So they go there, and they're going to take over the thing, and they're going to take out the guidance ship, and they're also going to uh, go upstairs and do something. They're taking something's not happening on the sub. So they're doing something in the place too. She, she hacks into the the sub, so they, then um, what's her face? Ramsey. Hack, Ramsey has to now go into the place to reverse hack it or like right, stop her right, hacking. Right. Um, but how we do we choose? Really cool we'll do both. We get a really cool. We get a really cool scene with Dom, like, and the EMP in the back of his car. Sure. And it, boom. And then the gates, for some, I guess they default to open. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which seems God, like a those mistake. Gates looked bad. That's, yeah, I'll yeah, tell you yeah. what, though, security gates. That's what they should do. When power goes out, they should absolutely <laughs> just go down, let Fuck. everyone in and out. Yeah, so people yeah. get in and out really. And easy. then he gets underneath the sub. The sub yeah, yeah. And it's like prison when and the takes power goes the out. All the doors open. Also. <laughs> can we get a science with Kev on this? So this is the question. We already did science with Kev. Doesn't I his, Kevin. does his car not have any electrical components in it? No, you would, would imagine it? his car would for sure. I mean, I mean, it's, it's a an custom, older car. No, no, but it's a custom car, so it must. It works like, on fire. I'm sure it did have a giant fire. fire. Yeah, yeah. Fire. yeah. Mad Max, which we Fury find Road out shit. later. He did on purpose. Fucking time, I just man. have to imagine there's some sort of electrical system in this I, older sure charger that, like, that would have well, gone I, out. But I'm sure that they like retrofit it with like a Faraday like cage it works on inside or something, so it's like protecting the car. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, a whole bunch of shit happens. Uh, Ludacris gets locked in the sub. Oh, he gets locked in there with Tyrese and Scott Eastwood, but they're locked in different rooms, and he's the only one who knows what they're looking for. But he can't tell them Wait. for some reason exactly what it is. He can't. Did, so he's did, like, did the hey, EMP just knock out the security gate? Because no. every other electrical no, he, system he, in this base seemed to work. Well, well they, they reboot. They reboot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I don't think is how it actually no, works. No, it, it, it actually fries the system. Ramsey and Cypher are going back and forth on hacks. Oh, you're really starting to piss me off. Ooh, I got it. You got it. Blah, blah. Everybody's got it. Whatever. Um, that scene was horrible. Yeah. Eventually, they're like, so, uh, so all right, we got the guidance ship. Get out of there. She's like, all right, get the sub out of there. They put the sub under the water. Uh, and then they're like, we got to drive away with I this thing part. now. How do they get the sub under the water? They turned it on and it like yeah. Went, it's Pah. just designed. I th I think it was designed lowered to like whole come thing. down and break the sides and then it lowered. Oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't. I didn't and so part. our guys are driving away. The bad guys are chasing them up on a, a mountaintop. Uh, Dom and the Capital One dude are up there, and they're like, "We can't get involved. Don't get involved. Okay, we're up here, and we'll just stay up here. And I'm gonna watch you, Toretto. I'm the Capital One Viking guy. Well, they're getting chased. And the then, down there, they're the bad. The bad guys are chasing them, the and people are shooting shit, and stuff's happening. And there's explosions and guns. And then uh, they fire a torpedo, and the rock hangs out the car and pushes it away. <laughs> oh my yeah. god, <laughs> that scene was incredible. I love that scene so much. But yeah. Meanwhile, up in the skies. Uh, two guys in fucking like wingsuits, like the vulture flew oh, on in there. Yeah, Guess cool. what? It's the Shaw brothers. They're back Fuck at yeah, it. it is. So good. Deckard giving Owen shit about it doesn't end well for you on planes, and he looks back at the door. That was cool. Gal's probably hanging out there somewhere too. Somewhere. Call um, Scarface. Yeah, it's great. It's they really go in and infiltrate. Uh, yeah, they're brothers. Owen's going to the pilot. Uh, Decker is going to get the kid. But this is where we get the scene of the Hill and Marion flashbacks and and all that. Where yeah, we yeah, see yeah. all the that. Hey, it was the, the plan. The Tom was planning Leo this. Leo and uh, Tego. Oh, right. Right. Oh, Tego. right. Yeah, yeah, Helping yeah, yeah. out. I was like, oh, it's those guys and whatever. But like, I just love the Hill and Marion speech. Like. Like, it's like this is really this franchise is about family. Even mm -hmm. the bad guys have a family, and they're I not love bad guys. That the, no, the they Shaw are bad guys. Also. They were all in the thumb of Cypher. Not anymore. Not anymore. They're we, all good we, guys. Like, bad all guys, all the guys are bad guys. Are like family. at some point, Shirley's their own's come, coming to the barbecue. Yeah, we don't know when. It might not be next film. I don't yeah. think so. I, but I'm so this, happy she's, she's coming to the barbecue. Are you? Yeah, dude. Cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. While I don't think this was the most clever implementation of flashbacks and like the the overall like oh Dom outsmarted her. I fucking love this scene with Statham and the baby. It's so good. It's but so also cute has so many adorable. dumb moments. Oh yeah, but the, I, but that's great. I liked it. I wanted to love it. 
all I wanted them to do was do the Quicksilver thing from X Men, where we just hear the chipmunks. That's we hear that full that blast, and we yeah. don't hear the gunshots, and just have an awesome action scene of me. I want. To I agree with you, but I hate the song. I thought it was a weird choice. Of, yeah, it's of a music. Chip, it's, like, it's, it's a Christmas kids. song. It's Why kids. the fuck are you giving a Christmas song? Because we're in the snow. In England, it's always Christmas in Harry Potter. It's true. It's true. He's mm-hmm. got a good point. Shit, really but also, what me. is? I, I mean, I'm, I'm with you that I'm not a fan of the song. But like, what other kids' song? I mean, what, Old McDonald, I guess. Like, I mean, Tim grew up on fucking like Lil Pump, Lil Uzi Pump. Yeah, sure, he did do uh, easy pump, yeah. Pump. So yeah, he runs around, he kills <laughs> stuff, and he talks to the kid, and they're having fun, and they're shooting shit, and blah, 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 blah. At and one I'm, point, thought he was going to use the thing as a shield, <laughs> and I was like, that's not, <laughs> no, that it's don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really good choreography, this really fun. The only thing that was stupid about this was that he goes to this amazing sequence, and I was like, and then, but it's, it goes on so long, you're like, wait, what's the other brother doing? Yeah. And then we cut back to him, and he's just holding the pilot hostage, like, no problem. And yeah, then, no problem. And then, yeah, Charlie Stern's like, oh, there's only one parachute. And I was like, oh, they're crashing the plane. She jumps out, and then, no, they don't crash the plane. It's just, they're going to land the plane. Oh, the plane. Okay, yeah. cool, fine, whatever. Uh, then down on the ground, uh, he, Deckard gets a, calls Dom, and it's like, it's all done. Don't worry about it. And he's like, cool. And now the <laughs> the Capital One guys was going to fucking fire the shot. He bumps him, he bumps me. And then they fucking fight, and then he breaks his goddamn Jesus neck. Christ. Sirens are violent. He punches so it. So violent. Just, violent. Just a punch in the head to break it. Not one of the stereotypical movie, let me twist <laughs> until it snaps. Yeah. It's just like I'm with brute force of my fist yeah, and I'm my arm. Hero. Fuck you. Your head's gonna so in disconnect. terms of violent uh, moments in this movie. Back to the prison scene. The Rock at some point like power bombs a guy onto a pole. Yeah, that was really violent. Wow. Yeah, yeah. that's not good. Really that guy's back. dead. <laughs> yeah, very yeah. Dead. that guy was Rock a child predator. That's why he was in jail. Oh, shit. So yeah. 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 he was gonna get in the shower eventually. Anyway, nice. shiv. <laughs> What else was he gonna get? Uh, so now Dom's back in play. He saves the day on them. I'm obviously Charlie Staron fires some fucking rockets at uh, heat seeking missiles or shit. And Dom does a thing. The sun around. comes up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, which is a great she, she, she uh, services great it. Scene. The key moment in this is this. Right. Letty's thing almost comes gonna up. die, but a doesn't. Lot of it practical. The sub. They have a sub. What? Special effects coordinator J.D. Schwarm and his team Schwarm. placed 180 pounds of high explosives into a frozen lake with no aquatic life to create the Iceland explosion scene. Cars were placed over the charges while remote operated cameras captured the action. Wow. I love how they were like, just make sure everyone knows no aquatic life in this. I know. Bullshit, yeah, I call bullshit. it. That's yeah, bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in Prague or some shit. They don't give. They don't have fucking fish. PETA over there. Yeah, so all uh, the missiles were being fired at them, and heat that's seeks. where they're like... Dom comes in with his fire barrels. Well, be- before there's the heat sink one, there is that giant truck yeah. that has a, like... All the like, right. whole, you know, that shoots a ton of <laughs> missiles at them. And the rock also has that fucking snow plow thing yeah. that just flips people. It's the, really cool. Well, he, and then at one Roman point, the water. he rotates it yeah. backwards. He didn't want to go and swimming. He didn't want to go swimming. Yeah. He he and and, and that's where they're like, we're out of, we're fucked. And then what do we do now? We pray and then. Dun, 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 I don't know what the hell's going on. They, they're just driving on an all white plane of snow with zero context of like what where anything is. And there it's it's it does the one thing that I fucking can't stay in an action movie where you don't know how many bad guys are behind them. And it's seemingly they destroyed all the bad guys behind them like three times. They and then we just keep cutting back and there's more. Where did that missile truck come from? Because it's not the same missile truck that was shooting missiles at them before. Monster we already closet. killed that one. It's yeah. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. Doesn't matter. Dom, Dom gets the heat seek shot at him. He jumps over the sub. It blows up the sub. Yay! He saved the he day again. He doesn't just jump over the sub. He fucking goes drifts in the air so that the little fucking uh, fin. The fin gets hit with the thing. Like, <laughs> jumps out of the car because the car is like exploding. Oh, right, the fuck right, up, right, right, right. Lands there as a human being on the ice <laughs> while the submarine is about to go subatomic. Yeah. And like, and then this the, thing his blows family up, comes. And the fucking family drives <laughs> to protect him. And it's just like, yeah. God, that scene was beautiful. I saw somebody, I think so somebody dumb. tweeted us a meme that was like, We are Groot. Where everybody's yeah. covering them yeah. in diesel That's is funny. so it's good. So uh, fucking Tim, great. subatomic, very small is what it means. Also, it, it was didn't. A sub it was cabin. a sub that was atomic. That went atomic. <laughs> yeah. It was a space in between. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it it's didn't. Act, it wasn't a nuclear blast that exploded. Because remember, that would have uh, decimated everybody. Yeah, yeah. I would have absolutely <laughs> killed him. But what's his face was like, oh, I took but out the car. The would have still worked though. Yeah. So that's important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I say. In this the, universe, science does tank, not matter at all. The tank, whoever was driving the tank. Luda. That was Luda. Luda. Yeah. He should have been a tank. in front of the rock because, like, 
I think, or in front of Vin Diesel, because the Rock's vehicle was covered in primarily mm-hmm. from the blast. But there's a lot of space in between yeah, the tires very, and the very car. Like, high car. Yeah. <laughs> also, but fire, well, everyone knows, once fire hits something, it just deflects the other way. Yeah. It doesn't go over mm-hmm. or around or, you know, the heat blasts your fucking face it's still off. still so cheesy and so awesome. Vin so Vin awesome. Diesel, Michelle Rodriguez reunited. Hey, all smiles. Hey, with, with a lot of crazy shit just happened, but you know I'm a good guy. Hey, 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 by the way, got a baby. It's great that you're cool with so it. So we jump over to New York. They're on a rooftop having their barbecue. <laughs> She's been dead and guess for years, what? She's so. there waiting on they they're there. Uh fucking Vin Diesel's so excited for his baby to show up that Decker Shaw's just had forever. <laughs> it's a long time with his baby. <laughs> they travel yeah. so fast, but they all you know whatever. Uh and so they're all just sitting there having a good time. Everybody's there. Then Decker Shaw walks in with the baby. He goes over and it's all smiles with Vin Diesel as it should be. A mercy a kill. A mercy kill. The thing is this, God. you don't realize how much you hated Han until you got Statham. Fucking hate no, him. you're he's saying Han, something else. Han shit aside, like this is my least favorite end scene, probably of the I, entire I franchise. wish there had been so a computer generated. It's well, that was so ridiculous. Like, yeah, bad. and it's like great, we're getting this weird Simba moment with the baby that the you didn't name Brian. You can be, like give the moment of like Brian. talking about Elena as if you're like, oh, like this is a tribute to you because you died. But you're really actually talking about Paul Walker. I'm gonna still? take care of a baby later. I'm gonna look up in the sky, talk to you, because that's when people go when they die in the sky. And then they name him Brian, and it's like, okay. I feel like they should have named him Paul. There's a lot of shit. That, you know? No, I know. Oh, no. Oh, that's too much fourth wall. What? He names him Han and then looks at Statham. Mother, and the guts come out. Yeah, they, <laughs> yeah, they should have. But and then also like the. The final song playing at that part is like this doesn't have the same type of oomph that we've had the last no. couple of movies. Although this movie did start off with a pitbull song, Mr. Worldwide, bringing, baby. bringing Mr. Worldwide back since Too Fast. There was that moment where they are all waiting for the barbecue, and Michelle Rodriguez tells Vin Diesel, "Like, don't worry, he'll be here." And I thought they were talking about Paul Walker. Like he'll get here mm. soon, she said. But she's talking we never about ever brought yeah. up. They did have the throwaway conversation of like, no, Can't Brian come. would know what to do. No, Brian, we said we wouldn't bring Brian and Mia in. Yeah, All right, good. which cool. I think you had to have. Of you course, did. of course, yeah. Yeah, I'm with you on this one. I don't like. I don't like that they didn't have. I don't like that all is just forgiven. That always just sort of seemed weird to me. They didn't even have that much of a back and forth. Like he was like, cool. I get, we're cool. The Rock like, explained right. to him that he was just like Rock, where he had been washed out and like they had blamed everything on him. So he was actually a good guy, made to look bad to all of us. But then he did a bunch of bad things after that. Like, like yeah. that happened a so long did this time whole ago. Team. So did this whole team. That's true. Now again, the, the these are all bad guys. G- game respect game is, is what I game say. Game respect game. And then the Rock goes. Can you help me with this? And then they both pick up the heavy thing together. Yeah, yeah. And I was yeah. like, oh shit! Now you're on the same team. And they now insult each other and they smile and it's so, funny. I was yeah, like, oh, exactly. Yeah, this oh, is good. How's your shot, man? How's your fucking shot? Let's Where? go. Let's go, <laughs> oh, man. And that's the end credits. That's the end. Boom. 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 Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Rad Guys Talk Bad Guys, Ragu Bagu Vids. This is our season finale for the Fast and Furious podcast within a podcast where we rank all the Fast and Furious villains. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the glue, Big Dog Kev Coelho. Over there. The Hispanic heartthrob, Andy Cortez. Hello. Uh, currently, our list stands at this. Number one, Decker Shaw, which is actually <laughs> Owen Shaw. Number two, Reyes slash Toretto Gang. Number three, Decker Shaw for reals. Number four, Braga. <laughs> Number five, uh, Drift King, DK. Number six, Johnny Tran. Number seven, Blank. Number eight, Carter. Where do you want to put Cypher? You get number two. Cipher. Two? two sound right. Cipher. Does two sound right? Everyone's gonna pay. I'd say maybe four. Cipher. Number four underneath. Oh, the real Deckard Shaw. Really? Maybe. I think I, I, either I, above I, that or I, below that. I was thinking below it at five, below huh. Braga. Huh. So it would be. I think so. Decker Shaw, who's really Owen Shaw, Reyes Toretto Gang, Decker Shaw for reals, Braga Cipher. But then she did talk about that cool thing about like I'm the alligator in the water thing. Yeah, it was, yeah. A, it was a good. I mean, she, she has a fuck yeah, lounge. Pretty cool. She, it wasn't a fuck I, lounge. Oh yeah, yeah. Braga's fun though. Do that. Do that. All right. All right. Cool. Number it. five is Cipher. Who gives a shit? I don't feel like I'm part of this. Podcast, so. <laughs> yeah, welcome to my world, Kevin. <laughs> but the I final am list for Ragu Bagu Volume Three goes: Number one, Decker Shaw, who's really Owen Shaw. Number two, Reyes Toretto Gang. Number three, Decker Shaw for reals. Number four, Braga. Number five, Cipher. Number six, DK. Number seven, Johnny Tran. And number eight, Carter. You took your foot off the tiger's neck. Ah, what a cool line, man. Meow. Good line. That's a good yeah. line. <laughs> uh, now it's time here. for a little thing I like to call haiku in review. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> 
Seven syllables in the middle. You'll need five for the first and last line. If you're not poetic, no need to fret it. Haikus don't need to rhyme. <laughs> Haiku <laughs> in review. Haiku in review. I fucked that up. Oh. <laughs> um, Everybody DJ Kento stop. writes in, big disappointment. No BBQ for Deckard. Okay, cool. Right. Justice for Han when? When? And he says, for real, though, the Shaws are responsible for Han and Giselle's deaths. Fuck these guys. Yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. I was forgiven, man. I'm with Greg on this. <laughs> you and this you are a traitor. <laughs> You're pulling a dom on me. Uh, let's see. Andy's, Andy Cortez has gone rogue. <laughs> <laughs> Weismark says, the fate of the fam. Dom has a fucking baby. He could have told them. <laughs> it's true. Uh, Ignacio, Ignacio Rojas says, science with Ignacio. Yeah, that's not how fire works. He's dead. <laughs> I don't think that's how haikus work either, yeah. but, I, but I appreciate it. Um, and Ignacio also says, uh, lots of cool set pieces, very underrated movie by Han. Hello, Shaw. <sighs> haiku in review. My haiku in review is, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> 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 um, and then James Davis says, no post credit scene. Is this a happy ending? What would Fast Nine be? Yo, Fast Nine and Ten, supposedly closing out the franchise. Cypher Justin coming Lin back. coming back. We got a lot of pieces bing, at play bing, here. Bing, bing, one, bing. we go into space, and the second one, we go through time. Back to LA. Save Han. Cypher and Mr. Nobody team up. And Giselle. Oh, they have to, to stop the real threat. Yeah. God. Reanimated Han. <laughs> <laughs> Cyborg Han. Oh, my God. God, I, I would so love wait, that. So wait, so it's Hobbs and Shaw, mm -hmm. then the other, the all-female spinoff? No, we, no, 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 nine no. Next. Okay. Yeah, we, the female spinoff. We'll it's just a rumor. Happens. Okay, my apologies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like a everything. birds of prey fucking DC sort of thing. It, it, it's, it's, it's not. It's not a come just, out. They showed a bunch it's of fucking costume tests like, from it. It's oh, clearly you're happening. Right. You're right. To be fair though, cyborg movie. Like Hobbs and Shaw <laughs> felt like this, and now here it is. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So it's like I, I do have more faith in it because The Rock is taking it so seriously. God, if it's if it's prequel, uh, Giselle and Han movie, that'd be really cool. Yeah, that'd be really cool. It would. Really cool. Um, what are we doing now? We are going Let's to rank, rank the movies. Let's rank these. The current mm -hmm. rankings are as follows. Number one, Fast and Furious 6. Number two, Fast 5. Number three, Furious 7. Number four, Fast and Furious 4. Number five, Tokyo Drift. Number six, The Fast and the Furious. Number seven, Too Fast. Too, too Furious. Fast, mm -hmm. Too Furious. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I enjoyed this movie a lot more than I, I thought that I originally did. Mm -hmm. I still put it in the same place I did before. It's just in my mind, it's a lot higher um, in, in quality even though it's in the same place, at number four, uh -huh. right underneath Fury 7. I would put it number five. Yeah, so bump down Tokyo Drift. Yeah. Interesting. This, I, this movie had uh, the sort of MCU thing for me where I didn't love it as much when it first came out, and I liked it a lot more around this time. Sure. Whereas some, with some of the other films, like I, I think less. six and seven, I liked them a little bit less. Mm -hmm. uh, I would put Fate of the Furious at number four. No, at number three above Fury wow. 7. Wow. I, I would also oh. put it at number four. Oh, number four? Yeah. Yeah. I just think, like, again, it's stupid fun. It's very mm -hmm. self-aware, and it, like, it just doubles down on it. And, like, even though it made a lot of choices that I don't personally agree with morally, sure, I understand it, and they were fun, they were worth it. But also, I mean, this is this is what Fast and Furious is going to exactly. be from here on yeah, out. Yeah, right? exactly. It's going to be this. It's going to be, like, long gone are the days of, like, their... their <laughs> They're actually yep. being like a lot of heart. <laughs> like, here's my thing: I think is, we're just I, going I shenanigans want, on this. I want this franchise to end with VCR players somehow. Like, I want them to. to they haven't brought that up. You know what I mean? Like the meme, and I feel they're, like they're any they're, moment. They're now. never gonna bring it up. But I want time traveling, so maybe. I want well, space travel. I, want I mean, I can, I can well, picture I think Tez, space is nine. I can picture Tez making a reference or somebody making a reference like, remember we were smuggling DVDs and VCR players back in the day? Like, was it know, DVD or VCR? I can't remember anymore. It, it was, was combo. Yeah. It was the combo. It was that's, TV, they, that's VCR why they're really combos. expensive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it was TV VCR combo. Yeah. I believe it was just VCR <laughs> DVD combo. Well, <laughs> it was, it was VCR VCRT that had the VCR. There's a whole bunch of different shit in the, yeah. the okay. truck. Yeah. Um, what are you okay. mad about? Time. Because what you said doesn't make any sense. It, they for sure weren't stealing a DVD VCR. <laughs> they had was a TV attached to it. No. Well, there was those mean, two. There, there, there was DVD, DVD VCR. Can we fucking you on the show? Steal <laughs> everything, Greg. They steal everything. Time to rank steal the everything. movies. <laughs> Number one. Or sorry. No, no, no. It's time to vote. Um, yeah. Is it better than Tokyo, Tokyo Drift. Drift? Raise your hand. Everyone raise their hand. Is it better than Fast and Furious 4? Raise your hand. Me, Kevin, and Andy raise our hands. Is it better than Furious 7? Raise your hand. Andy raises his hand. Ladies and gentlemen, the new ranking of the Fast and Furious thus far, all of the movies. Number one, Fast and Furious 6. Number two, Fast 5. Number three, Furious 7. Number four, 
Uh, the Fate of the Furious, number five, Fast and Furious 4, number six, Tokyo Drift, number seven, The Fast and the Furious, and number eight, Too Fast, Too, fast. too Furious. Uh, we will continue the Fast and Furious interview with Hobbs and Shaw when it comes out July 29th, I think so that it is. Away. It is so far away. Um, oh, but shit. this show will continue, kind of funny in review, next week going back to where it all Ooh. began. What does the that MCU, mean? baby. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Captain Marvel, strap in, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. We're going, what is it? Harder, faster, stronger? Touch it, leave it, flip it. Higher, faster, stronger. Higher. Higher. Somebody say that they have to stay tuned for like the next interview. Man, you guys got to stay tuned for the next interview. Keep waiting, bitch. What is that from? I don't even know that. Oh! Oh, yeah.